Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here, and I thought, hey, let's go ahead and review a historical movie for you guys, since you guys like historical content, or at least you like historical gaming. But uh, yeah, today we're going to review the 2020 movie called The Legion, also known as The Legionnaire's Trail in some circles. And these posters here would have you believe that Mickey Rourke is a main character in this movie, but Mickey Rourke actually plays more of a very weird and odd uh, cameo in this movie. But uh, before I go into that, I want to talk briefly about coldest water, guys. You guys know the deal about coldest water? If you guys are going out and you need cold water for about 36 hours, fill this uh, bad boy up with ice and water, and this will be cold for 36 hours. And it's very cool. And um, if you guys want to buy one of these, go to the links in my description. There is a chance at a giveaway. And also, um, if you're checking out, um, use code discount code Mastodon, and you'll get a slight discount on it. Boom, cold as water. But back on to the movie... The Legion 2020 movie, guys. So I had no idea how how low budget this movie was because I was seeing really big names on the posters. Names like Mickey Rourke, Bai Ling, Joachim D. Al Almeida. And what I didn't know is these guys weren't really the main players in this movie. 90% uh, of this movie is focused on a Roman auxiliary from Hispania on the run, and his name is Noreno. This movie begins in 62 AD out in the east, out by Armenia and Syria, and that's where the the Romans are. And unfortunately, the Romans have some some pretty nasty adversaries at their doors. It is the Parthians, y you know, the those guys who defeated the Romans at Carhe. Well, this movie takes place about 100 years after that event, but uh, the Romans and Parthians are still at it. Now, um, What's going on right now is that we have two major Roman commanders. We have a Corbulo in Syria, and we have Paetus out in Armenia. And Paetus, unfortunately, is bearing the brunt of this uh, Parthian invasion here. Um, he has chosen a very uh, poorly uh, chosen topography in Armenia, and he and his men are surrounded, and it's only a matter of time before they starve to death. He sends one of his uh, very revered mountaineers, an auxiliary from Hispania named Noreno, and he sends him out to get word to his rival, uh, Corbulo in Syria, that they need help and they need it now. So he's very reluctant to ask for help from Corbulo because, as I said, they are political rivals, but he doesn't want to die either. So that's why he dispatches Noreno to go out and, and try to get word to these other Romans that they need help. This whole area between Corbulo and... Um, and Paetus is swarming with Parthian patrols. So they have to pick the most dangerous uh, pathway for their messenger to take. So that's why they picked Noreno. Noreno is uh, used to taking mountain passes. And so they send him up this really high cliff, which is impossible to climb. But he's going to do it anyways because he is a uh, an obedient uh, Roman or an auxiliary or whatever. So... If you think that sounds really cool, that this Roman is going to be chased around for, for what, 80, 70 minutes of the film, uh, you might have a point because The Centurion, a completely separate movie starring uh, Michael Fassbender, they did a great job being chased around by, by these uh, barbarians. But that was a completely different film. That movie had some pretty good production value, and its lead, Michael uh, Fassbender, was able to, to carry the film by himself. Unfortunately, in this movie... Um, the big names like Mickey Rourke, Bai Ling, and uh, Joachim de Almeida, they are not in this movie for that long. So what we have left are these lesser-known actors, and unfortunately, they don't have the charisma. They can't carry this film by themselves. And aside from, um, from some pretty uh, bad acting, the cinematography in this movie is very uneven. Like, there are some really beautiful shots when they're up in the mountains and the run is running through them. But then when you get to the forest... And the run is running through the forest. It looks like a completely different crew filmed it. Because it looks very poorly filmed. It looks very cheap to be honest. A quick note about, about those main actors again. Uh, Bai Ling, Mickey Rourke, and uh, Joachim D. Almeida. So these guys only appear in cameo roles. Uh, Mickey Rourke at least appears what five or six times throughout the film. But it's done so in a very weird way. Whenever he appears, he's always talking to the statue of Nero. And, and it's weird. It's, it's like he's talking to him, but the statue can't talk back. But he's talking about vainglorious things. Like, it should be him 
in Armenia fighting the, the Parthians. And uh, later on, he's even crying that um, that his rival, uh, Paetus, has not requested any help yet. It's, it's still a pretty good performance. It's bizarre, but it's... It's 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 fairly decent performance, but honestly, I think the best performance in this movie uh, comes from the what five minutes uh, of screen time that Bai Ling appears in in the very last part of the movie. But yeah, um, aside from a very uh, uninteresting uh, foot chase, which goes on for about seventy five percent of the movie, maybe eighty percent of the movie, uh, you also have um, some some pretty hilarious uh, usage of obviously a CGI'd. Um, weather effects like there's a scene where I guess they they needed rain, so they get some pretty badly, badly uh, produced uh, rain on screen. The costumes, so the uh, Roman costumes are all made to look pretty uh, generic and worn out, so that people who have a nose for authenticity can't complain about it. Um, but as for the the Parthian mercenaries chasing them, uh, you got a few Parthian soldiers who look like they just came off the set of Marco Polo and stole. All the costumes for the Mongolians, <laughs> and, and then you have the main Parthians themselves, who seem to have pretty, uh, pretty good-looking uh, Eastern armor, but unfortunately, they still don't look the part as Parthians. There really are uh, too many flaws to point out in this movie, from from Mickey Rourke calling the Parthians Parthenians, calling Paetus Paetius repeatedly throughout the movie. You have that. Um, you've got. You got a situation where Nereno is drowning in about two inches of water, and this Christian is able to save him. I, I don't know how he's able to get out of that two inches of water, but I guess he eventually um, got on his knees and pulled himself out of that water. So honestly, the only really good thing about this movie is that it kind of hints at the at the Roman Parthian Wars. Um, in this particular uh, situation, uh, there was a case where Corbulo did launch a, a preemptive invasion into Armenia. He sacked the capital of uh, Tigranocerta and ins installed his own uh, puppet regime there. Um, but then the Parthians launched their own uh, counterattack, which failed, but it still resulted in, in Corbulo uh, withdrawing from Armenia. And while that was going on, uh, Corbulo launched his own invasion into Syria, which resulted in him trying to uh, retreat from the from the Parthians. Uh, he ends up uh, putting this really uh, putting up a really bad defense, where his troops are all spread out in really bad positions. And that's what happens in this movie. It's at this point in in, in history where he asks Corbulo for help, and. Uh, Corbulo actually does send help, which you do see at the end of, uh, of this movie. But what you don't see is that in history, uh, before Corbulo even gets there, uh, Paetus actually uh, capitulates. Um, but the, uh, the Parthians did let him uh, retreat um, away from Armenia. Uh, but it was still a Roman defeat, which, um, which I'm surprised they didn't even mention that in like, in like the... Uh, end credits or something. So, something to say, hey, even though Corbulo did go out there, uh, the Romans still lost. So honestly, um, I am kind of glad that this movie, um, it kind of hints at the, the Roman Parthian Wars because I don't think there's any other movie that actually hints at the Roman Parthian Wars. I think in uh, Cleopatra, they do uh, mention the Parthians coming, um, but it was only like in, in one piece of dialogue. But I hope you found this uh, review helpful to you guys so that maybe... You can steer away from <laughs> from such a bad movie. <laughs>